Looking to build that everlasting connection with your buddy? Just kidding, looking how to best buddy your Pokemon and get the most power out of them? Well, welcome to how to best buddy your Pokemon fast. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So a lot of people ask me how I'm able to best buddy like four Pokemon every single month, get that best buddy medal up nice and high, and just have a lot of Pokemon that are best buddy boosted. So depending on which raid boss I'm going up against, I always have the maximum power out of my buddy. Let me show you how. So before we start, what is best buddying a Pokemon? There are four levels of buddy for your Pokemon. You're gonna have a good buddy, great buddy, ultra buddy, and a best buddy, kind of like the friendships. The different levels of buddy will give you different rewards. Good buddy will make him on the map and will also allow you to read your buddy's mood. Having a great buddy will have the good buddy benefits, but also he'll assist you in catching. So he'll do that bounce back if you are to miss a Pokeball. And then also he will find presents so he can find little berries and things like that, that he can bring you through gifts. Ultra buddy will find locations. This will find new locations you have not spun and locations are pretty much just Pokestops. And he'll also find souvenirs. Souvenirs do nothing. They're pretty much just cosmetics, but you can see what souvenirs you have with your buddy. And finally, the best buddy will get you a CP boost so that Pokemon will have a higher CP. He will pretty much just go up by one level. So if you have a level 32 Larvitar, his best buddies, it's going to be level 33 Larvitar. And finally, he'll get the best buddy ribbon, which is pretty much a ribbon showing that that Pokemon is best buddy. Some people always look at these and they're like, oh, these are not that great. What's the point of best buddying? And by any means, you do not have to best buddy any Pokemon. I have plenty of friends who have zero best buddy Pokemon and still do fine. However, if you want to play and take advantage of this feature, I definitely will. And you don't have to do it as intense as me, but let me show you how I best buddy Pokemon really fast. So to best buddy a Pokemon, you're pretty much just going to have to get these hearts for a Pokemon. There are around six different things you can do to get hearts. Walk together. Every two kilometers you walk with this buddy on the map, you'll get a heart. Give your buddy a treat. You have to wait an hour in between to get all of these hearts as there are three different ones. So once you give him a treat and fill his gauge all the way, you're going to have to wait another hour before you have that chance to fill that gauge and get the next heart out of the three. Play together. You just have to scratch your buddy and you will get a heart for that. Battle together. You will have to have him in your party and battle with him while he is spawned on the map. So while you fed him and he's adventuring around with you on the map, take a snapshot, just take a picture of him and visit a new place. You have to spin a Pokestop while he's on the map of a Pokestop you have not spun yet. And the way you can tell if you haven't spun that Pokestop, it's going to have a halo around it. So to get best buddy, you need to get 300 total of these hearts. Every day the hearts will reset. So if you play together with him one day, you will get that heart for the day. However, the next day you will be able to play with him again and get another heart. And you have to get a total of 300. Looking at the other buddy levels as well. Good buddy, you only need to get one heart. So the first interaction you do with him, you will get him as a good buddy stage. A great buddy, you need 70 hearts. An ultra buddy, you need 150 hearts. And a best buddy, you need 300 hearts. And this is totals, by the way. So if ultra buddy to best buddy, you only need 150 more hearts. Now doing the math here, wouldn't it be pretty limited with the amount of hearts you can get? Let's look at the total amount of hearts you can get on one day. You can get three from walk together, three from give your buddy a treat, and three from battle together. I was using an old graphic that showed only one heart for battling together. However, they recently put an update and now you can gain three hearts for battling together with your buddy. That's going to give you nine total hearts. And there's a one, two, three more. There's 12 total hearts. And then also if your buddy brings you a gift or a souvenir, as we talked about before that you can get, well, then you can also get bonus hearts through that. But let's just look at the main hearts here. You're able to get 12 hearts a day. However, there's this item in the game called the Poffin and the Poffin will make your buddy excited. An excited state for a buddy will pretty much mean that he is able to get double hearts and you're able to get twice the amount of hearts in every stage. Once your buddy is excited, you're able to get a lot more hearts and pretty much double the amount of speed you are becoming best buddies. Doing the math here, as an excited state, we're gonna double the 12. We're gonna get 24 total hearts every day if you get every single heart. Doing the math, 300 divided by 24. That means it'll take 12.5 days, so 13 days to get a Pokemon best buddy, which is around half a month. However, there's a way to get your buddy excited without a Poffin, let me tell you how. We're gonna look at this graphic right here. This is an invisible level for your buddy, and it's pretty much gonna show the mood your buddy is in. Your buddy can be in different moods depending on how happy he is, you're going to start from the lowest mood and slowly go up into a happier state. The last state here is the excited state. So you can either use a Poffin to instantly get to the state or there's an invisible mood level that we're going to be able to increase. Different actions doing with the buddy, which are the exact same actions that we were doing to get the hearts with the buddy, are also going to increase the buddy's mood. Visiting a new location will get you one point towards his total mood. Walking two kilometers will get you three points. Feeding will get you one point. Playing with your buddy will get you one point. Battling with your buddy will get you one point. Taking a snap 
snapshot will get you one point. Opening a souvenir or a present that your buddy brings will give you three points. Visiting a location found by your buddy will get you three points. Each action has a 30 minute cooldown. So if I want to play with my buddy, I'm going to get one point towards his buddy mood, or I'm going to have to wait another 30 minutes before I can play with my buddy again to get another point. The only action that doesn't have a cooldown is walking two kilometers with your buddy. So you can technically just keep walking and walking with your buddy um, and you don't have to wait for that cooldown. You're going to need 32 total points to get your buddy to an excited state. The other levels of buddy also have a certain amount of points. So I believe the one right before excited will probably be around 20 points. So how are we going to maximize and get our buddy excited? This is the strategy I use. Every 30 minutes, I'm going to play with my buddy. I'm going to feed my buddy and I'm going to take a snapshot of my buddy. If you're looking at the chart here, that's going to get us a total of three different points. You can battle with your buddy every 30 minutes to get extra points. I think this takes too long to do a battle against one of the team leaders. So just avoid this. We're going to play, feed, and take a snapshot with our buddy every 30 minutes. And then I'm going to set a 30 minute timer on my phone. I'm going to do that again. Doing the math here, I'm going to need a total of 32 points and I get three points every 30 minutes. I'll do the division here. I'm gonna have to do that 10 times. 10 times 30 is 300. So it's gonna take around four hours. So pretty much you're gonna have to do it 10 times. You have to set that timer 10 times to get your buddy to excited mood. However, I believe it takes less points now as there was an update it's telling us that it's easier to get your buddy excited now. After talking to people in Discord, we realize that what's actually happening is now you get double points after the update for all of the actions. Now it is twice as fast to get your buddy excited. So just do this and now it's only gonna take two hours to get your buddy excited as all the different actions will get you two points towards your total mood. Pretty much every 30 minutes, just take a snapshot of your buddy, play with them, feed them, set a 30 minute timer and keep doing that and your buddy will get into excited mood without having to use a poffin. Obviously, this is a little annoying as you're gonna be able to have to keep on top of it. And if you're doing something that requires your full attention and you can't step away for two minutes to feed, play with your buddy and set a new timer, then obviously it'll be hard. But this is how you get your buddy excited without using a poffin and you're able to level up that main buddy the fastest possible. Now you may think to yourself, yeah, we're budding up one buddy right now and we're gonna get him best buddy in 14 days if we get all the heart. However, you said we could do four Pokemon in a month, not just two in a month. We're gonna talk about budding up other buddies at the same time as this main buddy. It's gonna be a little slower as we're not gonna be able to put our full focus into it. However, we are gonna level up a couple in the back. What you're able to do down here is swap into other buddies. So if I just press yes here, I'm able to come to the other buddies I'm leveling up. I just put a little asterisk and that's how I know which buddies I'm leveling up and I'm able to come in here and switch to one of them. For example here, we're going to switch over to our Mareep we're leveling up. Now what you want to do when you switch into your other buddies is just play with them and you're going to want to get the basic hearts you can get. I like to do this once a day and go through all of my buddies that I'm leveling up in the background so I can slowly level them up while I'm doing the main one. I'm going to take a snapshot of them. I'm going to feed them. I just use a golden raspberry as it takes the meter all the way to full instantly instead of having to feed them three different berries. And then I'm going to play with them here. There you go. Finally, I'm going to battle with them. You can get three hearts for battling with them. So I just come over here once they're on the map, choose one of the leaders, press train, press master league. And then I just come over here, search the buddy I have. There you go. I go in with a team of two 10 CP Pokemon and the buddy itself. I'm on purpose losing this because it goes a lot faster than if I were to try to win this battle. So for example, here, we're just going to let kill our Pokemon. No need to shield. We want to die. So there you go. We battle with our buddy and now we got one heart. We're going to do that two more times with this buddy. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to swap into our other buddies that we want to level up in the background. The amount of level buddies you want to level up in the background will depend on how much time you have. I like to choose four buddies in the background as I find it's a nice number. I'm able to do this step right here in around like 20 minutes, so it doesn't take too much of my time, but I like to have that one main buddy in the front, which right now is my Larvitar, and then in the background, I'm leveling up a couple other buddies. For example, this Houndoom. Again, take a picture, feed him a berry, give him a scratch, and of course, we're going to battle with him three different times. So yeah, that's pretty much it. In the morning or at night, I'm going to do these background buddies. And then during the day, I'm going to get my buddy excited with that method we talked about every 30 minutes, scratch him, give him a berry, and also take a snapshot and keep doing that until you guys get excited. There's my timer going off for my Larvitar, for example, telling me that it's time to scratch my buddy and get him excited. Last thing I want to note is once you are best buddy with your main buddy, you're going to want to switch him in with one of your background buddies and then add an extra background background buddy to fill up that slot so you can be consistently getting those best buddies. Yeah, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Really, the main takeaway is how to get your buddy excited without a poffin, as this is going to allow you to get double hearts on your buddy, get those 300 hearts for best buddy a lot faster on that main buddy. Of course, you don't have to do any of this if you don't care about buddies too much. Play how you would like. However, I enjoy building that connection with my buddies and also just gaining that extra CP bonus that you get so you can get the strongest Pokemon in the game. Question 
day for you guys. What Pokemon are you best budding right now? Pokemon I recommend best budding for you guys, if you're asking me, probably gonna be Pokemon with future potential Megas or the Megas right now. Best Buddy really gets the most advantage when you're taking the strongest Pokemon in the game and making them even stronger. And since Mega Pokemon are the strongest in the game, you're gonna wanna be best budding those Pokemon so you can get that extra power out of them. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys need a Discord, by the way, for raids or for friends, I'm gonna leave a link below to the Audible Pokemon Go Discord. There's global raids in there. You can add a bunch of friends. You can show off all your best catches. Just click the link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.